Just like any other week with the chaotic 90 Day Fiancé cast members, this one had plenty of ups and downs, a whole lot of controversies, and the announcement of a new season. 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 arrives in April after the problematic ongoing 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 5 finally bids goodbye to viewers. Joining the franchise are 12 new faces, to add to the existing list of popular reality TV stars, and an unending source of shocking news. This includes Stephanie Matto, who has now confirmed Shessa Clouchazer, and Jeffrey Paschal, who has been moved from jail to prison, where he will serve his lengthy 18-year sentence. As fans worry about the well-being of the Ukrainian cast members, David Murphy has announced he wants to fight for Ukraine against the Russian invasion. Natalie Mordovziva's mother has safely escaped the country, and so has Yorazea's mother, who is now in the Czech Republic. Meanwhile, Russian cast member Varya Molina posted about wanting to get her mom, who celebrated her 60th birthday to the U. As soon. Da chances of Varya returning to 90 Day Fiancé, however, look very slim. But, nothing stopping Usman Umar's ex-wife Lisa Ham from wishing she could come back to the franchise again. With her no-filter approach, Lisa has been busy taking aim at Usman and Kim's 90 Day Fiancé saga on Instagram. Here's a look at how Lisa plans on making her comeback and all the other exciting updates from the cast in the week gone by. Lisa Ham wants to return to 90 Day Fiancé. Lisa Ham aka Baby Girl Lisa has been making headlines for claiming Usman Sohaboy Humor's relationship with Kim Menzies is fraudulent. Lisa has also been taking constant jabs at Kim and Usman on social media and claims she's still legally married to the Nigerian man although she now has a new husband in the U. As turns out Lisa wants to take her commentary skills to the small screen, as she's expressed an interest in pillow talk. Yes, he would love to do it, confessed Lisa in an interview with Vintage. Lisa would like her husband Tracy to join her on the couch. Unfortunately for Lisa, her comeback dreams look unrealistic at this point, since she was reportedly fired from 90 Day Fiancé for calling Usman the N-word. Lisa was also scrubbed from Usman's current storyline on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days in which she's been referred to as his ex-wife. Point 90 Day Fiancé returns with seven couples including Ari and Beanie. It's 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 that will be replacing 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 5 is everyone's Sunday night guilty pleasure on TLC. Making a comeback via the flagship show are Ariella Weinberg and Binion Shiver, who have recently moved to the U. S joining them are six other completely new couples, with faces belonging to countries such as Trinidad and Tobago Serbia and Cameroon, these countries haven't been featured earlier in the franchise. One of the couples, Miona and Jibri, seem to have already spoiled their storyline by revealing they are married. With Ariella reportedly having married Biniam in December 2021, Fans will have to wait and watch with the rest of the couples who also made it to the altar in time. Colt Johnson and Vanessa Guerra celebrate relationship milestone. Colt and Vanessa announced their separation during the 90 day. The single life tell all after blaming it on his mother Debbie Johnson. Debbie, whose interference also played a major role in Larissa Lima's rough marriage with Colt seemed to have created a seemingly irreparable rift between Colt and Vanessa, with her influencer as well. Debbie had been unsympathetic towards Vanessa when she went through a devastating miscarriage. However, Vanessa assured 90 Day Fiancé fans that things are going well for her and Colt now, 
as she wished him a happy one-year anniversary on Instagram. Vanessa posted a picture of a famous sign in Reno and captioned it with, Happy one year to us at Sabagiculch.